After installing the Hovercam Flex 10 software onto your computer, double click the icon on your computer. Here it is right here. So I double click that and that opens up the software. That's now a live camera image that I have on my computer. Here is our toolbar down at the bottom of the screen. I'll walk you now through some of the key functionality that's there. We'll go right to left. Starting first with the settings right here. This is where we can see what the resolution is and also uh, we can select file formats for photos. So right now we're at 1080p resolution. You can see other resolutions that are supported. And my format is a YUV, that's uncompressed video. In the scan mode, I can select right here um, my extensions, JPEGs, TIFFs, BIPs, and PDFs. That's all done right here. Likewise, in the recording, and then I have archive settings over here as well. So that's all fine and good. The next command is the crop. Uh, you click on that, and then it allows you to go ahead and to crop an image. This is great for scanning. So once it's cropped, I can go ahead and take a snapshot of it right here. You'll see a tiny icon of the image appears right here, a thumbnail image. We can click on that and the image will come up. We'll get back to that later. To make the crop disappear, I go ahead and click right there. For my controls right here, you'll see that I have controls over brightness, contrast, and saturation. <clears throat> also, I have auto focus and auto exposure and auto white balance. So the Hovercam camera gives you the same types of controls that you have on a single reflex camera that's very high end, but at half the price. Uh, over here on focus, I have my autofocus, my autofocus lock, and also select focus. The next is the zoom a function. The zoom function is right here. I'll be able to go zooming in and zooming out. The midpoint right there shows the ASR zoom. I'm going to put a $20 bill underneath here. Uh, that has some clarity. So watch what happens when I zoom in. By the way, I can also pan that image by clicking on that image uh, and then panning with my mouse. So once again, to zoom in and out, right here, here's the zoom, right here. Up to there is zooming without any degradation at all. And above the mark right there, the halfway, begins to get a little bit of degradation, but the overall quality is quite excellent. The next function is, we call it view. This is for, for example, rotating the image and uh, rotating it back and also for a full screen type of image. The next button is annotation. So when we click on that, there are annotation tools that appear on the right side of the screen. We're able to go and select a tool and then we can select also the colors. So I've selected a red right there. Uh, and now I can begin uh, annotations. To make the annotations go away, I can hit them right there. So that's also a good functionality to use. The next button, we can use this for our uh, auto timer. So we can set the camera to take snapshots at a particular interval by adjusting time right there. And we also have a motion sensor timer. Uh, that's very good for scanning multiple documents. And basically we can set the camera that once it detects motion, such as a hand movement, uh, it can go ahead then and trigger a scan after the motion is detected.
The next function is one of my favorites. It's the video recording function. When I hit the button, uh, the, some tools come up. Right here is to start a recording. The next button right here, the middle one, is to stop the recording. To make the video record button go away, I just click on it and then it disappears. The next one over is the snapshot function. Uh, think of that as like a camera and taking a snapshot. If I wanted to take a picture of my hand right here, I just go ahead and click on it and then you're seeing the little icon uh, over there. Um, where that image is, is by click on it, it opens up my archive. So all the files um, that I've taken, all the images are there. And in fact, we can um, open up our image uh, files right here. Um, we can sort them uh, by date uh, and so forth and by time. So for example, those are the older files right there. Let's sort right here. So everything I've done today, uh, it's the three, uh, uh, March 2nd today, so all those files are, are open here. My snapshots, my video files, and everything else. So this is all in your archive. Everything is automatically saved. And to get back to my live camera image, I press the button right here in the upper left-hand corner that looks like a camera. So I press that. I'm now back to a live image. So that's the snapshot function. The next function is called the slingshot, and let's show you what this does. It basically allows me to bring the hover cam image into any, into any document. Let me show you how that works. So let's open up uh, a Word document. So actually this is a blank Word page. And you see the little hover cam icon right here, right there. I can move that anywhere on the page. That's a live camera image. So if you see my hand there, one, two, three, four, five, that's a live image. If I hit the X button right there, I'm back to the, um, the larger Hovercam Flex 10 image. So again, using the slingshot will minimize my Hovercam Flex software, giving me this little live preview. And now to capture that image and to bring it into the document, I click and then drag it on over. And then voila, it is now a captured image right inside Microsoft Word. Let's uh, show you that one more time. Let's undo this image right here. So back uh, here is the $20 uh, bill, just so you see it's a different image. I click, I'll click, drag, and release, and I've slingshotted the image into Microsoft Word. Again, to get back out of that, I click there, and that's how we use the slingshot function. The next function is my split screen. So I'll go ahead and open that up. And so basically, uh, it's, it's showing the last capture image that I had over here on the left, and the live image is on the right. So we do support a split screen function as well. And then you have some still image controls. You can zoom in, uh, zoom out, uh, and so forth, and even make that the whole, the whole image if you like. So a lot of good functionality there. Click there, and uh, we'll go ahead and make that one bigger, or we can just go ahead and uh, undo your still image control right here. So to get out of split screen, I click there, and now split screen is gone. You may have noticed uh, up here on the left-hand side to access the archive, basically what I can do right here is right there, and then the latest images that I've captured are all right there. And then there's a button here that says go to the archive. That's what I showed you a moment ago. So here's the place where we can stack images and unstack them. We can delete files. We can convert any file into a PDF. We can even run our OCR program. We can email files directly from here or even upload to Dropbox, Facebook, Picasa, YouTube. So this is the archive. Uh, it's our whole file management system included in the software. And to get out of the archive, we press here and we're back now at the live camera image.